What's going on, everybody? I appreciate all of you that are hanging out waiting for the stream to start. For those of you stopping by watching the replay, though, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So uh, a little over a week ago, Mike, the owner of Day 3 Fragrances, sent me a little care package. And I told him, oh, you know, I'm going to have to do a live stream next week. And he said, man, I, I wasn't looking for any PR from you or anything like that. I just just a little thank you care package for, you know, when we were nobody. You gave us a shot and you helped us grow and all that stuff, which meant a, meant a lot to me. Mike's a great guy. You might see him pop up in this live stream. If you see the, the profile, Mike the Trickster, that is the owner, perfumer of Day 3 Fragrances. Great indie brand. He sent me this hat like two years ago. This hoodie was in the package with these fragrances. Two of these three bottles I have already. That's going to be part of the member giveaway this month. That's going to be the second spin. It's going to be a double pack of literally my two favorites. From this brand, Bani and La Tacita de Cafe, the coffee fragrance, the tropical mango papaya, and the coffee fragrance. My two favorites in the brand. Um, and I have Philosophia, his newest release that I haven't tried, that we're going to be sniffing in this live stream. So thank you very much, Mike, because I responded to him with that. Like, Mike, you know me. Of course, I'm going to do some content. It's not just it's not just to help the brand. I just really want to, you know, I got a new fragrance and I'm going to go live and talk to my people about it. It's just what it's going to be. I'm going to do a live stream. So for anybody that's going to do the whole shell thing and all that, because I'm wearing some of his gear and all, I have never received a single dollar, nor do I have an affiliate link or code with day three fragrances. So get off your high horse and just enjoy the damn content. Great brands doing great things. Original quality stuff. I love to support. And just so happened to start doing some streetwear. Love the hoodie. I mean, it's custom stuff on the inside and everything. There's, there's print on the back and uh, Badass hoodie. I've had, like I said, I've had the hat for like two years. But anyways, my scent of the day, the ever so polarizing Parfums de Marley Calan. Not that many people enjoy it. I know there's a few people that will be in this live chat that do. Every time I bring it up, a few people chime in and say, oh, I love it. So I know it's not just me. Red rubber ball. Spices. Blood orange. So zesty orange. Loads of black pepper. It's a little resinous. Has a touch of sweetness. Man, I'm just such a fan. Very woodsy. Not so much aromatic, but it does have an airy quality to it, more so than an aromatic quality. Like, I don't get loads of lavender and stuff, though. I do believe some lavender is in there. Let me look. It's a tester, so it's got the, yeah, there's lavender. Lavender and orange blossom. Cashmere wood, there's your woods. Moss, tonka bean, white sandalwood, dry amber. And then that top note. Ooh, ooh, blood orange, black pepper spices. And you get loads of it at the top. This is a tester. So it's got the pyramid and multiple, you know, two different languages. I love it. Beast on my skin. I only got three sprays on. I'm constantly smelling my CIs, scent bubble going on. Don't need more than that. So that is my scent of the day. Actually, let me go ahead and put it over here. Get it out the way. Apart from Marley Kalan. So we'll wait till around the 10 minute mark. Um, I haven't gotten anything from day three in a while. So this is these box designs are new for me. You see, it's got information on the sticker there. 50 ml. I noticed they changed the caps, but this is Philosophia. The newest fragrance, I've never looked at the notes. I know my man EQ is a fan of it, but I have the original bottle style of La Tacita de Cafe and the second iteration bottles with Bani. He's changed the caps. There's some heavy metal caps. So we'll talk, we'll discuss these, but I'm not going to spray them because the members only live stream at the end of the month. That's going to be the second spin for the Hall of Fame tier. Somebody's going to get both of those bottles. So that's going to be a really cool giveaway, I think. So let's get caught up with the chat. For those of you just getting here, hit that thumbs up on your way in because it does help. And I do appreciate it. So when Jared said this, I was like, update, what update? This is just a random topic, uh, basically, that I just wanted to do. Throw a little spotlight on a great guy with a great brand. It's basically what it comes down to. Polo Deep Blue Parfum, great fragrance, which... Bunny would be my choice for sure. Mango, papaya, and spices. More papaya than mango. I wore it to the beach a couple of times last summer. It was great. Good to see you, sir. Epic Man, my favorite Amwaz fragrance. Great choice. So Drapoise, another one of my, my favorite man, Sarah, but another one of my favorite fragrances. Dan, not the man. Good to see you. Kaylin, always a pleasure. 20, oh, Bunny. Bunny is my favorite fragrance from the brand. That's always going to be my suggestion. If, if you want to hear about one, that's the one. Now, Philosophia, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know what it's based around. Say Less is a really good iris fragrance. Um, Ombre Dominicano, really good fragrance as well. But 
I mean, literally my two favorites are, are right here with Let's See the, the Cafe, beautiful coffee fragrance. Um, and then, like I said, Bunny. One of my favorite tropical fragrances I've ever smelled and is my hands down favorite from the house. Good to see you. Looking, looking 10 p.m. over here in the UK. Hope you're having a cracker of a day. All right, then. It's end of the day, Body Out Oud Sublime with Mercedes Benz Club Black over the top. That's an interesting layer combo. Mancera Midnight Gold, underappreciated fragrance from them. Andreas, good to see you. Kevin, pleasure. Ethan, wearing black rose. Great choice. Dakota, good to see you. Looking online to pick something up. It happens to me all the time. I totally understand. Clinton, good to see you, sir. Modern classic with Terre d'Amez Eau de Toilette. The most recent amazingness in that line, Terre d'Amez Eau de Givray. Great choice, AJ. Roy, good to see you, my man. Wearing Layton. Beautiful. My second favorite Parfums de Marley fragrance behind Kalan. Lost Cherry. Okay, go ahead with your bad self. Sean Connolly's in the house wearing vibrato today from Suspiro. That's a hype beast and a half. Hello from Germany. Hello from the U.S., from the state of Florida. Cody, good to see you. Loam Eau de Parfum. I still need to get a bottle of that. I have smelled it. It is a warmer, boozier take on the original. It does smell like the original, too. Kix Griffey's in the house wearing Greenlee. A lot of people are wearing Parfums de Marley today, not just me. Kix Griffey approved. What's going on, my man? Good to see you, Terrence. ATH Hard Candy. Acknowledging him. Gentleman Reserve Freeve. That's a great one. Dilly, good to see you. Noir Extreme. I'm assuming Tom Ford. Luis, good to see you, my man. Dylan Blue. Can't go wrong there. Icon to Parfums in the house. Another great independent brand. Love Kalan. It's an earthy BR540. That's fair. That's fair. I get a lot of woodiness, heavy, heavy spice. And like I said, I get this weird like red rubber ball kind of smell. Almost like the rubber for a racket ball. Like those blue, green, or red racket balls. That odd rubbery smell, that. I know that's a weird description, but that's just what I get from it. Love it. So there's somebody that loves it. That's what I'm talking about. I want to share new pickups with you. Finally got some draft wise, A for 65 bucks for a tester. Great choice. Glacier Bold, a great Lebola Parfum clone for 17. That's a steal. Lamar, my favorite from the house of Kajal for 75. Damn, that's a hell of a haul. Hell of a haul. You got some steals right there. Tarathi Blue, second day in a row. I don't blame you. It's a beautiful spice citrus. Actually, yesterday, and I watched your review. So just know it's a powder bomb. You have to understand going into it. I don't. I know it's not just on my skin. It's super powdery. One of the most powdery fragrances I own on that wall behind me. So be wary if you're not prepared for a whole bunch of powder. Potentially do a video top 10 discontinued gems in your collection. Would love to see your take. I can do it up. I haven't done it in a couple of years. I can do an updated one this year. Can't guarantee it'll be in the next couple of days, but I'll definitely keep it in mind. I've been debating on doing it. I just picked up a discontinued gem with Lamal Essence to Parfum. Sprayed that on my hand last night. Oh, God. I love that fragrance. I see where people are coming from with it kind of smelling like CH Men Privé, but I don't find it's as synthetically sweet. Obviously, it doesn't have the booze, but the leather accord and the sweetness, they kind of blend together. But this is much spicier, and I think the leather accord's a little darker, a little heavier. Um, I prefer it to CH Men Privé, but I understand the comparison. It's closer to it than the decant I had of the newer formula of Lamal Essence de Parfum, the blue juice. Because I bought a bottle of the purple juice, the old, old, old version. Um, that was the one that I guess if, if there was one that was going to be worth spending that kind of money on, I guess... You didn't want, I didn't want to get the newer batch, um, which, you know, falls flat quicker than this. This one's robust and performs. And man, I was sniffing my hand all night. I didn't go nose blind to it or nothing. So getting that sparks the mood for me to want to redo that topic because I have gotten a few discontinued gems in the last six months or so. So I might just do that in the next few weeks. Let me rephrase that. I probably will do that in the next few weeks. Arabian's Tonka, great fragrance from Montal. Noel, good to see you, sir. Smack that like button. We're an angel share. Liking the quick mini review. So some clips, pulling some clips from uh, from different list videos, kind of repurposing them because I'll get asked about these fragrances and they're in list videos, like certain ones that I don't specifically have, which, you know, some of these already had individual reviews. But these little quick, you know, quick synopsis, it's basically taking that light, slightly over a minute clip from these list videos and throwing it out there for anybody that just wants to get to the point with that. Here's my little brief summary of this fragrance. So I figured I'm trying it out. We'll do it for a little over a week. They're not doing good. 
and dropping a few of them in a day is not doing me any favors on the algorithm. So it hasn't been beneficial. So unless in the next week or so it catches on and it shows to be beneficial for the channel, I may not do it for long because it has not done well in the last 24 hours. So because I've dropped five of them since yesterday, three yesterday, two today. Momentum killers. That's what they are. It has not benefited this channel. So we'll see if YouTube algorithm helps a little bit. I'll keep doing it. But if it doesn't, might not make it through the week doing that. So just a heads up. I'm glad you're enjoying them, though. It's good to get some feedback. Great choice. I mean, it can be. It performs really well. If you want something beachy all the time. You say about the performance and maceration, have you worn it? Not in a long time. Not in a long time, no. It was a monster performer then. I don't think it needs to perform any stronger than it got. I mean, what you saw in the video, I talked about how much of a beast it was. I mean, it, it, if it gets any stronger, it'll make me definitely not want to wear it because it was already like crazy, like super cloying is so strong, you know? Like, I got to be easy on the sprays if I decide to wear that, which I, I'm always on to the next thing. You know, I've always got new stuff coming in. <clears throat> Blue Day Chanel Parfum, great choice. Van Cleef and Arpels, Midnight in Paris. Speaking of discontinued gems, good to see you, Esteban. Sauvage Parfum, my favorite Sauvage. Great choice. Green Hour Sweet today, timeless. Another one wearing it. So you're wearing it as well? Or are you just like, Excited, he's wearing it. I don't, I don't, I have a feeling it's because you're wearing it too that you got really excited. I'm assuming that's what's going on. Good to see you, my man. My Celtics, I oh, just saying hello to everyone. Purpose by Amwaj. I have not tried that one yet. Oh, man, it smells so fucking good right now. You're killing it. <laughs> Joma Shop, there's a number of fragrances from Azha. I was wondering if you have any. I've never even heard of this brand. First time I've ever heard anything is right now in your comment. I've never heard of this brand. Ooh. You smell great. That's one of the better fougeres out there as far as classic style, herbs and citruses. Brasilia Absolute Alexandria's take on Creed Absolute Aventus. UNC B-Ball are killing it this year. Go Heels. Got my ears expanded and I've got an infection. I think it was the cheap cologne I sprayed, dude. Got my ears expanded and I've got an infection. So this is the first time I've ever seen a comment from this profile. And I feel like it's an odd, weird way to troll type of comment. Because what's that? I, I got, I don't know. I got to just say what's coming to mind. What's that got to do with anything? Did you spray your fragrance into your stretched earlobe holes? This makes no sense. So I can't believe it's a genuine comment. I have to believe this is some troll bullshit. And depending on his follow up, this might be the last time you see a comment from this, this profile, guys. So please reiterate if I'm reading this wrong, lips, sir or madam. Because this is, I just don't even know how to take this other than this is some oddball troll thing. If it's genuine, what? <laughs> If it's not genuine, let me know. We'll get you out of here. Um, I, just, I, I had to say what come to, came to mind. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. By all means, guys, let me know if I'm looking at this wrong. Isn't this weird? A weird comment? It can't just be me. I know it's not just me. Because how would that have anything to do with your ear infections for your stretch lobes? What would that have to do with it? Unless you're spraying it directly into the hole. Jared, keep an eye on him. Good to see you, Bishop. <clears throat> Troll radar's on. Watching y'all. Watching y'all. But did see the Victorious Faith sample yet? I have not. I have not. Javanchi Gentleman Prevé, great, great choice, though. Almost 10-minute mark. Yes, you will. 15-minute mark. I'm way behind. We need to get into this. With Mont Blanc Star Walker, I found a bad scent from Mont Blanc yet. They're all solid. They're all solid. They all smell pretty good. Good to see you. Hey, worth a shot. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Terrence, good to see you wearing 40 knots. Great option. 19 degree. I think it's the best of the house. Great choice. So, all right. 
your face looks thinner. Well, I'm cutting for a, a bodybuilding show in June. So uh, I appreciate that. A lot of a lot of people have been saying that in the last two weeks because not everybody, unless you're in my live chats, everybody that just watches the regular videos and stuff has no idea because I don't talk about it in there. I talk about it on the live chats. Um, yeah, I'm down to 189 right now. I got to get down to 171 for weigh-in, which I'll probably get to like 169 and then I'll carb up. It'll probably be mid 170s when I'm on stage. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm dieting for a show. Good to see you, Montrese. If you miss a comment, can I type it again? Or, no, no, no. Just don't type it like five times. Two or three times if I happen to skip around, by all means. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that's That's very commendable. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Uh, cause sometimes people just type it, type it, type it, type it, type it. And it's like, geez, Oh, stop. I'll see one of them. Whereas nobody's ever asked me. You're the first person that ever asked me. I appreciate that. Yeah. If, if I happen to skip it, of course, type it again, just try not to do it, you know, a dozen times or something. Then it's kind of ridiculous. Cause I'll see, if you do it two or three times, I'll see one of them. Cause I try, I try to pan down as I'm skipping when I have to skip ahead, which I have to right now, actually. So these internet dudes are weirdo weirdos, man. Um, this is the first time I see this profile too, so I don't know. If I feel like we got a. Uh, I don't know if that's directed at me or directed at random commenters. I don't know. Bushido Brown seventy six. Let me know. Let me know. So let me skip down a little bit. New Azaro coming. Yes, we have uh, the most wanted EDT that gray bottle. I'm actually pretty excited about that because both the other most wanted. Fragrances are, are really, really good. So we made it to the bottom. So trolling is the lamest thing to spend time doing. And I'm not sure if it's like some weird, awkward ass troll comment or not, because it just doesn't make sense. Like at all. So I'm like, is this trolling or is this dude just, I don't know, not realize what he's typing because it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe he you know, doesn't type anything else. I, I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways. Philosophia. Let's dive into it. I've never looked at the notes. I know it's the newest release. I've been wanting to try it. So thank you, Mike, for sending it my way. I do like the upgraded boxes. It has the nice foam cut out on the inside, shape to the bottle. Here we go. We turn off the autofocus. We take a look around the bottle. Philosophia, extract de parfum. It is the darker glass. The only one from the house I have with darker glass. We got day three on top of the cap, etched inside. Does hold into place, but does not click into place, and that is hefty metal. There's barely any plastic in there. This is this is a weapon. This is an absolute weapon. All right, let's give it a spritz and see what we're working with. Oh, beautiful! He upgraded the atomizers. Look at that. Creamy. Very creamy is the first thing that comes to mind here. A little resinous and floral. Ooh, we're on to something here. Powdery, creamy, and resinous. Yes, yes, very floral, very powdery. There's a darker element to it. That's why I say it comes across a bit resinous is the dark kind of feel that I get from it. <sighs> Fellas, this is great. Now, upon smelling it right away, I'm not putting it over Bunny. Bunny is still my favorite. It just really speaks to me. I love mango fragrances and the mango papaya spice and everything. It's just the best to me. It really is. But this might be my second favorite. This jumps ahead of La Tacita de Cafe. There's a darker woody element. It's resinous, very, very powdery and creamy. So this is going to be a little polarizing for some. You have to. Uh, this is not a safe blind buy. This is definitely something to sample first. Quality is top tier as always. He uses great quality oils with his blends. I can't get away from this, this resinous tone. I have to know what the notes are. Here's the website, Philosophia. You got 50 ml, 10 ml, 100 ml. As you can see, niche, 
Chocolate hazelnut tobacco. There's my earthy tone is tobacco. Amazing Dominican cigar accord for our newest release. Philosophy is an extract de parfum with a stunning and unique DNA. Black pepper, cardamom, and the top notes give way for Cipriol, tobacco, and cashmere. It's very powdery, though. What is giving all of this powderiness? It's very powdery on my skin. Bergamot, cardamom. It could be the cardamom. Black pepper, cashmere, tobacco, cipriol, heart, hazelnut, vanilla absolute, chocolate, musk, and leather. So the leather... And I'm guessing the tobacco is where I'm getting this darker, earthy tone. Comes across a little resinous to me. It's not as spicy as you would think with cardamom and black pepper in the top. It's not super spicy. Light, spicy undertone, sure. It's got to be the cardamom. It's got to be. That's what would make sense to me unless it's the vanilla. Or it could be that and the vanilla. But it's actually very powdery on my skin. The creaminess here, I would attribute to vanilla and chocolate. Hazelnut could be, you know, playing along with it as well. These gourmand notes, it's not, I, I'm kind of surprised to see those notes because it doesn't have a strong gourmand facet to me. But I also do get a little bit of this nuttiness. The hazelnut makes sense, but I'm not overloaded with vanilla and chocolate. There's obviously vanilla there, but I don't get chocolate pretty much at all, is what I'd like to say here. I don't get chocolate, not on my skin. Maybe it'll come out more, um, but it's powdery, it's creamy, it's earthy, and like I said, resinous. So whatever is making up the leather accord, there's some kind of resin in there because as a lot of you know and or a lot of you don't know, there's no leather oil. There's multiple fragrance oils that will come together to create a leather accord. That's why you can get so many different leather facets in so many different ways because it's just different notes blending together to create certain leather smells basically. That tobacco's coming out more and more, more and more. And it's not dry in the least bit. This is, everything else is kind of smoothing it over. It's not making it a moist tobacco. You can tell it's more of a tobacco leaf or a pipe tobacco, like he's going for a cigar accord here. But it's more of a dry tobacco. But all these other, I guess that's where these gourmand notes play a bigger role because it's not allowing it to be a dry tobacco smell. You can smell the earthiness of the tobacco, but... It's not really smoky. I'm trying to figure out what's what's all I can come up with is the cardamom or the vanilla for the powder because I get plenty of powder. Not the powder bomb I was talking about with oud satin from uh, Paris Corner earlier. For, for those that were asking about that, that's a real powder bomb. It's that puts this to shame with powder. <sighs> but powdery, sweet, creamy, a little animalic, earthy. This is stunning. I have to say, this is going to be my second favorite from the brand. Situational for me, though, not a daily wear fragrance. More of an evening appropriate type of scent profile. Cooler weather. I think hot weather, this would be cloying. Very cloying. I think it's just too much for the heat. But milder to cooler weather, especially evenings. This is 8 out of 10 type of stuff. Great fragrance. Doesn't blow me away. But up there, it's definitely up there. That's why it warrants an 8 out of 10. Man, this is good. The tobacco is really taking a hold of this profile. So let's take a quick look around Bani and La Tacita de Cafe for those of you that are members that are going to have an opportunity to win this double pack in the Hall of Fame tier. Because these are 50 mLs. Just to let you guys know the prize pack value for those two bottles they're 135 a piece so 270 dollars value for the second spin because we're still going to still going to have you guys vote on the main prize like we always do let's look at these notes because this is a beautiful coffee fragrance orange spices sweet cream dominican coffee rose and chocolate brown sugar vanilla musk tonka absolute and it's not as crazy sweet as this note breakdown wants you to believe because there's so much of that dominican coffee in here it's got a very dark roasted feel to it because the cough the, this coffee note is pretty hefty there's there's a lot of it in there this is a really good one and then let's take a quick look at my absolute favorite we go to shop and let's look at bunny here we go 
I love, 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 love this fragrance. This is one of my best summery fragrances I own. Mango, mango leaf, grapefruit, magnolia, lily of the valley, coconut, sugarcane, sandalwood, and musk. I could have swore it had papaya in the notes as well because I do smell papaya. Here we go. Subtle hint of juicy papaya. And I actually get more of the papaya than I do of the mango, which is surprising when you see double the dose of mango. But this papaya on my skin is not so subtle of a hint as it states here. I get a nice dose of it. And then where's that spicy tone that I get? Because there's something a little peppered about it that's not being listed there. Let's take a look here. Wild orange, bergamot, photorealistic mango. Yeah, for sure. It's beautiful. Blossom, creamy coconut, jasmine, magnolia, papaya, base of earthy sugar cane, mysore sandalwood, soft white must to add a cloud-like texture in the base sugar cane star. Green earthy element, which, yeah, it does come across like a bit of a green mango. Uh, but as I highlighted here, that papaya really shines on my skin. And this is, to me, the highlight of the house. Very, very, very unique tropical fragrance. I don't have it. And I got loads of tropical fragrances, guys. I don't have another one that smells like this. I love it. This is the one that absolutely, if you're going to try one from the house and you like stuff on the fresher side, this. Great performer, too. It's another one. All of his fragrances are extraits, which are above 25%. I don't know the exact concentration that he does on these. Doesn't state on the sticker. I don't know the exact concentration, but it's above 25%. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Bunny is the name of Vanessa's hometown, our owner. Each year they host Mango Festival to celebrate amazing mangoes grown there. So there's some story behind it. So storytelling brand, high quality oils, originality is key when you want to make some high quality creations that tell a little bit of a story, have some heritage to it. Like there's a reason for the profile but with the story you're trying to tell. And that's what's going on here. Amber, Domin Amber Dominicana was really good as well, which I haven't wore this one in quite a while. Cola, lavender, cinnamon, honey, immortel, divana, patchouli, anise, which is heavy. The anise and clove are kind of heavy on this one. Amber, vanilla, clove. That's a heavier wear, actually, but stunning. Now, I haven't tried Silent Rescue, downtown Deja Vu. I haven't tried that as well. Celeste is a gorgeous iris fragrance, though. This one's very popular from the brand as well. Lemon, cedra, bergamot, iris, candied violet, narcissus, so heavily floral heart, cedar musk, amber, and rain, a fantasy watery note. Very unique iris fragrance, slightly earthy and sweet. Slightly earthy florals and a little sweet. Quite nice. And we got some of the hoodies and everything. There's one of the zip ups. Yep. Great, great brand. Big fan. Philosophy is good, though. It doesn't come across as gourmand to me. It just doesn't. I don't think it's gourmand. I mean, there's there's sweet notes to it, but it doesn't make me want to eat it. It doesn't come across as delectable. Delicious smelling, sure. But I would say that about a lot of non-gourmand things as well. It smells delicious, you know. Certain intoxicating aromas in general. Is the X sample set by Nishani a good way to get to know the brand? No, I think the main sample set would be the best way to get to know the brand, honestly. I don't really have much from the 70s that come to mind. Not really into the vintage stuff, like as far as vintage profiles, aside from things like Dior Eau Sauvage. That originated in 66, which the new version that I have, I'm sure, isn't exact to the oldest of formulas. But yeah, I don't typically wear stuff like that. I like the much more modern stuff. Now, I do like certain things from the 80s and stuff, but not really that far back. At least I don't have any of it. It was towards the earlobe comment. I appreciate you letting me know because I wasn't sure where it was directed. Thank you. Yeah, it was kind of a strange comment, right? Philosophia is incredible. Yeah, I know my man EQ is a huge, huge fan of it. I have moderators. I have several. And uh, two of them are here now. Yeah, I have moderators. <clears throat> DJ, good to see you. I'm off key to my success. I haven't tried that yet. 
excited for this. I hear about this one a lot. That's what I'm saying. I know my man EQ is a big fan of it. I think Justin is quite a fan of it, too. I don't recall seeing a video with him featuring it. I know he has videos discussing it. I just haven't seen them. What determines when a note is used top, mid, or bass? So it's the way they balance it out. I am no perfumer, so I can't describe the exact art of it. You would have to ask a trained perfumer that to really specify the way they balance the notes when they're blending. Um, but there's a method to it. It's an art form. And they are true artists with creation with creating these perfumes. Um, but I know it involves balancing when blending. Yeah, it's got a great atomizer. Tobacco chocolate bomb. Philosophia was decent for me, but I wanted something more masculine. Yeah, this isn't the most masculine fragrance. That's that's for sure. Excellent fragrance. Presentation of the bottle is very nice, clean, stylish, and a little different. I really like it. Not the biggest Iris fan, but Say Less changed my mind. And Amar of Minutes. Like I said, very unique. A lot of his fragrance is very unique. It's amazing. Dry down is a little sweeter. Turn me on to Vertus Vanilla Oud. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll gladly say you're welcome on that because I, I wish everybody would try that fragrance. And look, not everybody's going to love it, but it, I sure do. Do you know of any high quality oud products that are as good as oud, van, vanilla oud? As good? I mean, it's one of my five favorite fragrances, so I don't know if I want to sit there and say as good. But nothing comes to mind that I want to compare to it as far as ouds. It's probably, it's my favorite fragrance that has oud in it. So I don't really put any other ouds on its pedestal. So unfortunately, no, there's other ouds I like, but not even remotely close to how much I enjoy that. See, there's one of my moderators. See the chat close now. I appreciate you, my man. Philosophy is one of the best for me next to Del Mar. Del Mar is good stuff. I haven't smelled it in a while though. But I love Bani. Like, soon as summer rolls around, I'm going to be wearing Bani again. Hit the like button. Let them know. Philosophy is really, really good. And Dame, Dame keeps going off. Dame loves this fragrance. That's what's up. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. Speak of the devil. There he is. I knew he was going to come at some point. Really appreciate all you guys. Mike, you do phenomenal work, man. And I made sure to let everybody know at the beginning. I said, I don't want to hear all the shill stuff because I'm wearing And I explained when you gave me the hat and the, the hoodie came with this package. I made sure to let them know we're not affiliated and not a dollar has ever been exchanged. Just a fan of one another and appreciate each other's work. That's basically what it comes down to, guys. So is everybody convinced? I'm just is convinced I'm on every brand's payroll and all things. I'm on no one's payroll. Doesn't work like that, guys. Doesn't work like that. But I encourage everyone trying, absolutely trying and getting samples from this brand. So everything's between 22 and 35%. As far as his concentrations. Thank you for answering that, Mike. Good to see you, sir. Mincera Intense Sidrap Waze is a beautiful fragrance. Downtown Deja Vu is a cheat code for compliments. Yeah, I haven't tried that one. That's one of the few. That and uh, what was the name of it? Silent Rescue. I haven't tried those two. That's the only two I haven't tried. Downtown is a sleeper. See, they have these. You guys are hip. I mean, of course, Mike's hip to the game. He created it. But Dame's hip to the game. Dame seems to be quite the fan of day three. Yes, TAC is right. Tomorrow, same time we went live here today, we will be doing part two of our decant swap, me and Justin, on Justin's channel. So I'll make sure to go head to his channel and set a reminder so you don't forget. Yeah, philosophy is really good. I'm definitely enjoying it. What are your thoughts on Byron's Black Dragon? I've never tried it. I've never looked into it either. Sorry if you covered this in a review, but I've not come across it so far. Yeah, I've never tried it. Can't weigh in, unfortunately. Kara, good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. I already know I'm a big fan of you, but Dame here in the chat chopped it up with me and definitely put me on Philo. We'll be grabbing a bottle. I'm kind of surprised you don't have it. Because I know you, uh, you're uh, the Bishop of Fragcom, and you, you watch a lot of live streams and a lot of content. And there's a lot of opinions that you take pretty seriously and i know some of them have raved about philosophia some of those opinions you take to heart so philosophia is my baby that's pretty strong right there yeah i don't think he has a blue fragrance this summer's release will be slightly aquatic Ooh, now we're speaking my language yes is it going to rival by me 
you know I'm going to need to try that because Bonnie up here for me. Also a fan of Ambar de Monacano. La Tacita is good and Midnight Whisper is a banger to me as well. There's no there's no mediocrity from the brand is what it comes down to. That's why I was comfortable titling this live stream the way I did because there are other phenomenal independent niche brands in this space. It's not just Mike and Day 3 fragrances. So best is search term. That's why it's there. But one of the absolute best, top three, top five, in my opinion, yeah, Day 3, City Rhythm, brands like that, phenomenal work, putting their best foot forward with every release, improving presentations. As they make more, they reinvest more, expanding we got streetwear with day three now and stuff like, like, man, I love, 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 love to do my part to get the word out on brands like this because they deserve some spotlight. Not every little brand that's, that's, you know, working on the come up deserves it. Some have to earn it. And I don't just mean for me, I just mean in general, but some from the start have that something special that kind of separates them. And you can see big things and great things are going to come from a brand. This is one of those brands. This is one of those brands because Mike approaches it right. Mike's got the right energy for this. ATH Oud based fragrances are amazing. Appreciate you weighing in, Terrence. Yes, sir. What's your thoughts on Jardin Exclusif? Got the silver blue coming. Ooh, and Camaro Almond Tense. You got two good ones coming. Um, as far as Jardin Exclusif, I don't have a bunch of experience. I believe it was one time with Dedrick. I smelled it on a test strip and I was told to get it on skin. I'd like it more. So I really don't even remember it from that one time on the test trip. So I actually can't weigh in on that one in particular. I'm, I'm sorry, Kara. Best part of the whole community is the love for the art and appreciate appreciation of another person's artistic expression. I totally agree as well. Downtown Deja Vu is that femme leaning fragrance that females love to smell on guys. Let's take a look at the notes on it. I have, I've never looked at the notes. Let's see. Fruit smoothie, zesty citrus. You got me already. I'm super intrigued. Fruit smoothie. Come on now. Fresh new t-shirts, cosmetic counter, cinnamon buns, suede jacket, cotton candy. Is it? Does this smell like the mall? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking when I see all of these accords. Cinnabon, department store, snacks, the Jamba Juice and places like that, you know, and Smoothie King. What? What is happening here? Is this is this a, a reimagining of the mall? Like uh, throwing back to the like the mid to late nineties mall scene? Because that's what I think when I read this this set of accords here. Maybe I should read the story. It's a unique, fun, unisex perfume inspired by the experience of strolling through. I nailed it! Holy shit! Because look, Mike, everything about that note breakdown says what this top statement is. I swear to I swear on my life, guys, I never read this before. I swear. Through the 90s shopping mall. Because every, everything in the note breakdown made me think of the 90s shopping. Man, because growing up, we lived at the mall. And this is a modern yet nostalgic phrase. I have to try this now. I'm so giddy and excited. I have to try this now. This is a modern yet nostalgic fragrance that whisks you back in time where neon lights, zesty fruit smoothies, and fresh threads create an atmosphere of indulgence and wonder. I have, I have to try this. The initial top notes of apple, red berries, and citrus sparkle from the moment you spray the fragrance. They're zesty and alive. The opening of Downtown Deja Vu is inspired by the smell of the fruit smoothie stand. As the perfume settles, I'm sh I, I feel like I have a shitty and grin while I'm talking. Am I smiling ear to ear? I feel like I am. As the perfume settles, its heart notes reveal a soft yet clean combination of iris rose and white linen, reminiscent of those iconic 90s department store cosmetic counters that and crisp new t-shirts as it dries down downtown deja vu's base notes envelop you in the scent cloud of suede leather cinnamon and cotton candy the perfect homage to the cinnabon stands leather stores and arcades of the 90s with the delicate balance achieved between sweetness and sophistication downtown deja vu is both luxurious and nostalgic not only is downtown deja vu a unique and memorable fragrance but its performance is top notch. Just a couple of sprays will keep you in a scent cloud, leaving behind a beautiful sillage all day long. The unisex perfume is also office safe and can be worn on almost, for almost any occasion as it's very crowd friendly. 
take your senses on a, on a trip to the mall with downtown Deja Vu. I am so giddy and excited about this fragrance. One, because I totally nailed what the story was about just reading these notes. And secondly, I am a nostalgia freak, nostalgia buff for the 90s. Everything about this excites me. I'm on those 90s nostalgia alg algorithms on TikTok and Instagram, and I follow Tara Town with things we did in the 90s. A lot of you know exactly who I'm talking about. I've been following her for a long time now. I love all of those posts. I'm such a 90s kid, and I'm almost 40 still. I'm still wearing the same kind of stuff. I love Tommy Hilfiger and Ralph Lauren Polo and Jordans from that era and just all of that. So seeing a fragrance that's built for the Cinnabon stands, the Jamba Juice, uh, Orange Julius. Y'all remember Orange Julius? That was in the 90s at the malls. Things like that. The Arcades, Dillard's and Macy's, J.C. Penney's. Like, I think of all these things. Babbage's, with, long before it was ever GameStop. Yes. So I'm excited about this, and I've never sprayed it one damn time. This excites me greatly. Yeah. Definitely interested in buying a discovery set. Uh, not top tier luxury niche, but you know, elevated. A lot of them are artistic. They tell stories. Some of them are very challenging. Very good stuff. They got a lot to offer. You need to be tread lightly. Some stuff is very, very challenging. And I don't just mean secretions magnifique, which I've never smelled and probably never will have no desire, but some of their stuff is remarkable, like remarkable people. Beautiful, the champagne accord that that one has. Exit the King's great lathered soap foam and florals. Um, soul of my soul, musky, powdery vanilla, buttery suede, gorgeous fragrance. Like this is just a few that I have. They're really good. And there's a bunch of like cult classic favorites in the community that like you or someone like you, people love that one. Uh, fat electrician, like there's a bunch of good ones. So tread lightly exploring the brand. There's some chances for like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have bought this. I don't like this. That's a brand I strongly encourage getting one of their discovery sets. Do not blind buy stuff from Italy Branche. No worries, sir. No worries, Adam. I appreciate that. Thank you, my man. Bishop needs more mind games. Just kidding. Hey, mind games are great. Ooh, Royal Vanilla or Roses Vanille. I've never tried Roses Vanille, but Royal Vanilla. Captivating. Way too heavy for the season. I'm like, it's it's not cold enough outside for this hoodie. I just really wanted to wear this hoodie. I'm inside for this live stream. Uh, love this hoodie, by the way. It's, it's the right kind of mid-weight where it's not, real it's not li lined with fleece, so it's not too hot. Like, I could wear this one outside at 70 degrees and not sweat my ass off. Kind of like that. It's a slightly lighter hoodie without being a thin hoodie. Like it's not a t-shirt hoodie, like the ones I usually wear with my sleeves rolled up. It's not like it's thicker than that. Uh, point being, I would easily take Royal Vanilla, even though I haven't smelled Roses Vanille, because Royal Vanilla is very underappreciated from the house. A very thick rose and vanilla. Good to see you, John. Fort and Mantle, late harvest. They're both so sweet and enthusiastic about their fragrance line. I'm happy to support a couple like that. Yeah, I've never met Mike personally. But I've chatted online with Mike many times over the years, and I have several people in this online community who I value that are big fans of Mike's work as well. So the overall consensus is, you know, day three and Mike are something special in this space. They really are. I'm getting a sample set. I mean, by all means, there's a link down in the chat. It's not affiliated. It's just a straight up link to the website. I don't have a code or anything like that. Mike, if you have a, if you happen to have any discount code that you want to share with anybody, please put it in the chat. I'll, I'll add it to the description after the stream if, if you okay with that. If you don't have anything, you don't have anything. I don't find it's all that soothing. I think it's a more uplifting fragrance than that. Sounds interesting. You had me on Cinnabon. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm very excited. And I haven't even smelled it. I have not smelled it yet. Does your wife have... She's got a pretty sizable collection. She told me the other day she wants a Flower Bomb Tiger Lily, the new release. That's 180 The new Flower Bomb Flanker is 180 I went, look. I was like, mm, give me a month or so. Let me see if I can find a, find a discount somewhere. <laughs> 
before I go dropping 180 on that. Cause I'm gonna get her the, cause she, she'll stick like when she gets a fragrance, she'll stay on that fragrance for a little while. Like how I'm on to the next one daily. She'll stick with something for two or three weeks and put a sizable dent in the fragrance. So I'm gonna get her, I have to get her hundred ml. She blows through 50 ml pretty quickly unless she happens to move on like halfway through. Um, Lust for Sun from Juliet has a gun. She's been wearing a lot lately. A lot. Like she loves the tropical stuff. She's kind of getting in beach mode. So she's wearing more beachy stuff. And uh, Tiger Lily from Flower Bomb is kind of like that. But she's got, at this point, like 60 fragrances, which is a huge collection. This is overkill. This is ridiculous back here. This is un totally unnecessary. Um, but yes, she's got like 60 ish, maybe even a few more, but right around that. She's got a sizable collection. Now, this is over the years. It's compiled because she's not into it the way I'm into it, but she definitely loves the smell good. That's fair. Good to see you, Neil. It's literally sensational. It doesn't smell like it to me, but it gives me vibes of a way higher quality niche BR540 with completely new scent DNA altogether. Heavenly. Good to see you, sir. Oh, I'm down, Mike. You're, we can definitely set something up. I'd love to have Mike on. Let's set. Let's talk about it. We've got a conversation going on IG. Let's talk about it. I'm down. I mean, we're late into this one for you to just jump on. I'd rather schedule something and have you on side of me talking about the upcoming things and overall inspiration for the house. And I'd love to do that. Absolutely, Mike. Let's talk about it. Let's set something up. Absolutely. Absolutely. We can definitely do that in the next few weeks. We'll work it out. Absolutely. Been a while. I do wish you all the best. I appreciate that. Now, somebody that I know that I value their opinion greatly, that's a big fan that has a lot to say about it is my friend, Justin. I would encourage going to Justin Copeland's channel, type in Justin Copeland, Creed Royal Oud in the search bar. In several videos where he's discussing it will pop up as what's in the search because he doesn't do a whole lot of individual reviews. He does a lot of topics. I would encourage you go listen to his description. He's a big fan of that one. It's his favorite Creed fragrance. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Justin. If not, I hope I'm turning on to you. Wonderful human. Not just a great content creator in this, this space that I almost guarantee you're going to really enjoy. Wonderful human, though. Salt of the earth kind of stuff. One of my dearest friends. One of my favorite humans. Is what I like to say. He's one of my favorite humans. Um, Justin Copeland, Creed Royal Oud. Type that in the search and check out some of his content on it. That's an opinion that I trust, I value, I love to recommend to people that has a lot of experience with that fragrance. Downtown Deja Vu. Dominique, good to see you. Putting a quarter in the screen to call next. Man, I used to play X-Men, the arcade game all the time. And obviously, Street Fighter is my favorite franchise of all time. I've played every rendition of Street Fighter 2 II and 3 in the arcades to death. To death before I finally got up. I got Street Fighter 2 Champion, Special Champion Edition on Genesis was my first Street Fighter game. And then when I got my Dreamcast, I got uh, the Double Impact with New Generation and... And second impact on it, the double disc, the double game disc. And that's when I really fell in love with Street Fighter 3. Street Fighter 3 is my favorite of the Street Fighter series. Always has been. I, to this day, I, I'd rather play that over anything else. I can play through arcade mode every day. And over the years, I go through spurts where I do that. Yeah, absolutely. I was a big arcade rat, too. Residence Bomb. Day three puts on puts out super bangers. I met Mike at Sin Explore. He's really kind and caring. He loves fragrances and listens to what you have to say. So he knows what you look like, huh? I have to ask him. Because even I, who has many conversations away from the channel with you, don't know what you look like, Kyler. Hmm. Might have to do some investigations here. Just playing. <laughs> Kyler doesn't want his face out there because the internet's terrible. <laughs> it's just what it is. People on the internet are terrible. Fragrance World Jack of Clubs. Lionel DeLone Blue Like Treat Clone. Good to see you, Joel. I agree. It is my personal favorite from the brand. So, Mike, I don't know if you were here and heard what I'm going to do with the bottle of Bani and La Tacita de Cafe that you sent. Since I have them already and it happens to be my two favorites, which La Tacita de Cafe just got bumped because philosophy is too good to not go to number two. The Bonnie is still my favorite. 
Uh, I have my members only live stream at the end of every month where we do some giveaways. And from a Hall of Fame tier, one lucky winner is going to get that double pack. We're going to get the bottle of La Tacita de Cafe and Bani. $270 value. Phenomenal setup. Somebody's going to get a phenomenal combination of fragrances. Very different personalities, very different situations to wear them for that I can almost guarantee, almost guarantee whoever wins them is absolutely going to love them and be so happy that they want them once they smell them. So I'm going to do that at the end of the month in my members only live stream. Oop for Glory Sublime. Great choice. The Mensa uh, it's I've never smelled. No, I take that back. I did smell the original at Louis Vuitton. It didn't. It doesn't blow me away, but it is a nice citrus fragrance. I, I believe there's some ginger in there as well. It's very bright. I prefer Afternoon Swim and Imagination to it. I do. Whole family was very nice, and they have a very very pretty dog. I'm a big dog person as well. We will do Ross Twenty, but give me like an hour to get it live. Okay, guys. So in about an hour. If you want to get something from day three fragrances, you can save 20% using what can, can you do TLTG 20 instead of Ross 20? That way it's more uniform with my other codes and it's not affiliated guys. It's just something for you guys. I'm not going to get a kickback. It's just for any of you that want to make a purchase. If you don't mind, Mike, can we do TLTG 20? That'll just be more uniform with the other stuff. And I'll add that. Okay. He said, sure. I see it on YouTube. Um, so TLTG 20 in about an hour, you guys can save 20% off your purchases from day three. I'll add that right now um into the video description next to the link and i'll add it to my link tree after for anybody that wants to use it in the future let's see okay i appreciate that mike it's very generous of you my man you're now my favorite because he brought your dog up, huh? Yeah. See, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take dogs 10 out of 10 times over people. Dogs are the best. No such thing as a bad dog, just bad owners. Bad dogs are created, not born. They're trained to be that way. So good to see you, sir. Boss bottled infinite. Been a while since I wore this. Smelling good. What? So for those of you that don't follow Stone Cologne 316. That's who Ken is here on YouTube. Thing to pull in the trigger on Coach Green. So it kind of smells like greenly mixed with Sauvage. If you can wrap your head around that and it sounds good, you'll probably like it. Green citrus, cypress, woods, and it does have an Embroxen smell. Musky tea fragrances, a little more in budget. Hmm. Something like Rain Essence in the Bulgari Man line would probably be great for you. It is on the upper end of affordable, kind of in that mid-level $80 range for 100 ml. You can get a 60 ml, I'm sure you can get it cheaper, but it's a relatively new release. Just wait a little bit if you want to get it even cheaper. But that's a great one. That's the first one that comes to mind. Musky, watery, fresh, herbal tea. Great for a rainy day. Last time I wore it, it was on a rainy, foggy day, and it really fit the vibe and the mood. Very laid back. <laughs> My wife blows through 50 ml bottles too. I had to start giving, buying her 100 ml only. It does make a big difference because she'll get stuck on one fragrance for a while before she moves on to another one, which is not a bad thing. That's enjoying your fragrance. That's really the way you should do it. Plus, the son got to get her a new bottle. Yeah, my wife's been wearing it out. She's got that 50 ml. I did a, a collaboration review with it, and it's really nice. I just, it was too feminine for me. She loves it. I even said in the review video, like she's totally getting this bottle and she's going to, and she loves it. Very summary. Get a video together. It's never going to happen. She does not want to be on this channel. And with the bullshit I get on the internet, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. So I don't, I, I stopped asking a few years ago, like two years ago, roughly. Um, Cause I get it. And she just has no interest to do it. It's all good. Now, I've debated on doing a collection video for her. She wouldn't be in the video, but going over her collection. I've debated on doing that because it's a pretty sizable collection at this point. That I may do. I've been tossing that idea around. Still got to wait to chat on my other channel, Stone Cologne 316. Interested to see a short or something. Well, there you go. So I can't guarantee when, 
But just know I've been tossing around that idea, and it seems like it's something at least a few people are interested in. Uh-oh, I'm traveling anyways, but I'm down to do a live. The people have spoken. Yeah, we'll talk about it. I mean, I, yeah, what he means when he says I'm traveling anyways is to jump on right now. Yeah, it's something I'd rather schedule to where it can be. I can feature you from the start. Ooh, realistic guava. Very tropical. You have my attention, sir. Yeah, I agree, Esteban. Time crisis. Man, one of the best ever. The light gun games are dead now, though, unfortunately. The people's trickster. There we go. I have a hibiscus fragrance. And wow, exotic fruit style fragrances are insane. That's some of my favorite. I love the exotic fruits. I recently emailed Mike about a leaky atomizer I received. I love the scent, but I worry about it being more 10 mLs or 50 mLs if they leak the same. I mean, in every batch of atomizers, there's going to be a potential faulty one. It's the inevitable. Um, but it's a minuscule number, like one out of every thousand, probably, kind of thing. Because um, I know George deals with that, too. And George has custom-made ones that, that only fit his bottle and everything. Uh, when I say George, I mean Zaharoff. Um, this kind of stuff stuff happens. There's there's a a certain level of variance for random faulty items when you purchase things in bulk. It's going to happen. It's man-made items. Um, I'm willing to bet more than likely the, the likelihood of you ever getting another leaky atomizer from day three specifically is probably, I mean, a tenth of a percent. You know what I mean? Like the likelihood, it's it's so far apart from, I mean, it can happen, but it's most likely won't. That's just what it is. There's always variants of faulty components that are going to come up when you buy large batches. Good to see you, sir. Driving back from work again. Have you tried Jack of Clubs? I have not. I've been asked a lot. I might have to just buckle down and buy it because I don't wear blue electric that much. I do like it a lot. I just don't reach for it much. That's why I was like, eh, I don't need the clones. I'm not going to wear it. I don't even wear the original. That's been my reasoning for not getting it. But I mean, if you got, I, I get asked a lot. So I guess you guys just really want to hear my opinion on it. I guess I need to buy the damn bottle and, and review it and compare it to the original, which is also apparently good. I was typing, you said Jack Club that fragrance world. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's because I was uh talking about his scent of the day. Cuban. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna skip down just a little bit. Yeah, it's very generous of him. So yeah, there we go. It's gonna be TLTG20 will be live in about an hour because Mike's uh Mike's traveling at the moment. Two weeks, so good for two weeks. There you go. So for two weeks, you guys have an opportunity to get 20% off the code TLTG20. Very generous of you, Mike. I appreciate that. I need to let my wife try Libra Intense because she's got like this much left of her 90 ml of Libra. That's her favorite fragrance. I need to get her another bottle of that, but I want her to try some of the flankers just to see. Prada Paradox. Hmm. I just got a whiff of this when I move my hand right here. Philosophia is a banger. It really is. Yeah, it's very generous of you. Man, people suck sometimes. I see an asshole in the fragrance group today commenting on a question somebody asked being a complete ass for no reason sucks. That's just how people are. And look, if I'm if I pick with somebody in my comment section, I get a bunch of flack for it. I'm a dick, I'm a condescending prick. I'm just playing around with people. And you would like I get it if people don't know me, I can come across that way. But if you get to know me, I pick. It's a sign of affection for me. I just pick. I pick on my wife more than any other person in the world. George is my best friend. I give George hell. He gives it right back. But that's that's playing around. That's what I like to do. I like to joke with people. I'm a ball buster. I like to I like to mess with people. It's very lighthearted, you know. But in a comment, I guess it's hard to tell because it's just typed words. There's no inflection and voice to go with it. Um, so yeah, people are interesting on the internet, Kara. That's for sure. Not too high in the. Jack the Frag talk, but did you like? I did. I did. The the Sting match was great. The send off was great for Sting. I gotta say. I agree. It is a lot of their stuff's really good. Vanille Fatale, I haven't tried, but Vanilla Sex is phenomenal. I would. I said yesterday in the live stream, I'd like to get a thirty ml of Tom Ford Vanilla Sex. That was really good. I tried that at Nor at Nordstrom. Yeah, when I was in Tampa with uh, Omas and the Fragrance Press. 
which he's no longer the fragrance apprentice. He is now George Atkinson. <clears throat> he changed his uh, Instagram profile and let me know that he's no longer the fragrance apprentice. This is per George Atkinson told me directly. <laughs> so he's focused on his film career. Uh, so I will no longer be saying the fragrance apprentice. I would just call him George Atkinson or I'll just say Atkinson because I have two close friends that are named George. <clears throat> so I haven't tried it yet, but I was with him point being when I tried it and it was quite nice. Loads of vanilla, different types of vanilla. If you like vanilla, Tom Ford vanilla sex is fantastic. So did anybody see the new story post from I fragrance, all the new Guerlain's vetiver parfum, Lom ideal parfum. Mm, gonna need that. Gonna need that. How about rouge parfum? Sounds like three I'm going to need. I still need to get Guerlain Vetiver. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. I've smelled it with Justin. I like it. It always eludes me. I never think to grab it, but I'm going to want all three of those. I don't know if I would say it's way better than the OG, but it, it can stack up because we're talking about a, it's a clone of a designer. So it very well could be exactly the same because it's not like it's trying to get the magic of some high level exclusive oils from a top tier flavor house. It's designer synthetic. So I'm sure Jack of clubs gets spot on. I bet it's spot on. I've heard good things. Fresh as fuck. Love the name. Good to see you, sir. Damn, what a discount code two weeks for sure. I'm getting that fruit smoothie one. So he said within the next hour. Um, so it is currently 5 PM central. I would say wait till six central. If you're Eastern, that would be 7 Central. I mean, uh, 7 p.m. So he said about an hour, like 10 minutes ago. So we're at the top of the hour now. So I would say maybe an hour from now. Just a good rule of thumb because we're right at the top of the hour. A different type of discovery set, a travel set, if you will. I mean, he's here. He's listening. Maybe so. We have a 10 ml bundle. Let's go look. Day three fragrance blotters travel spray bundle. Here you go, and you get to pick what you can pick three. Pick three, and you get ten ml. They have it. There's gonna be a discount code in a little while. So there you go. He cert he has you covered. Thank you for letting me know, Mike. That way I could show everybody. Same. If I don't pick on you, I don't like you. I'm the same way. <clears throat> oh, that I don't know. No codes don't stack. There you go. Good night, Esteban. Good to see you. There you go. Yeah. Somebody about Atkinson, by the way. Mm, I don't know. Hmm. Guerlain is, is so dang good. I agree. I love Guerlain. I've started to buy more Guerlain's. <clears throat> no. Every time I go, it's all stuff I have already that would even interest me. I'm hoping that changes. I haven't seen anything. That's why I haven't done a rack store video in a while. There hasn't been anything worth grabbing or anything like, ooh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. No. Be on the lookout though. Any recommendations on shops to hit? Guys, hook them up with some recommendations if you have any. Yeah, I'm super excited, but I saw that and I was like, they're gonna be taking my money. It's my live stream. I'll say fuck if I want to say fuck. Code is working now. There you go, guys. He jumped on it. So anybody that wants to make a purchase, balls of steel, appreciate you letting us know. Mike jumped on that pretty quick. Thank you, Mike. Seriously. So anybody that wants to make a purchase, sample sets, a bottle, these travel sets, the code is live. You can save 20% TLTG20. I do not receive a single dollar. It's just there to hook you guys up. Very generous of Mike to do so. <clears throat> yes. Thank you, Mike. Very, very generous. I have five older siblings. So yeah, sign of affection. Yeah, that's, this is what it is. Juan Ochoa, good to see you, sir. Aqua Celestia, the original. I have not tried. I own the Forte Flanker, and I've smelled Cologne Forte. I plan on getting it this summer. 
just got here. So TLTG20 was just created and just went live for day three fragrances. It'll save you 20% if you want to make a fra uh, purchase from them. My name, but no school moms ask me what I'm wearing because I just ordered a full bottle. At Montclair La Cordy coming in tomorrow per EQ. Shout out to EQ. He never misses. I definitely let you know how the fragrance is. Definitely let me know for sure. Saw some more funny clones effing fabulous copy. Have you tried vacation? Oh, that fragrance that's actually called vacation. I've seen ads for it. No, no, I never tried it. Speaking Guerlain, spices exquisite is so fire. I've never looked at that one. I get why you get that discontinued JPG. I got Luna Rosa Extreme and Prada Lome Absolute. I always wanted that. I missed on that. I waited too long. I waited too long. It went away from discounters and now it's overpriced. I've been wanting Prada Lome Absolute. Can't get myself to open them because of the price. What's your thoughts on those two fragrances? So I actually don't have either. I had a chance to get Prada Luna Rosa Extreme last year fragrance, but I had it in stock. I went to get it. It sold out before I could get it. Problem absolute. I waited too long. That's been that's been gone for a while. I haven't tried either. I can't weigh in, unfortunately. The original coach banger. I don't care what anybody says. It's great. I haven't worn it in a long time. I got a pretty sizable dent in that bottle. There was a time when I was going back to it pretty regularly. Good to see you, Darren. Midnight Gold. Another one wearing men's Sarah Midnight Gold. Same name. Six point seven Braun Strowman bottle. Shout out to Adam Sure. For those of you who don't know, that's Braun Strowman's real name. I sprayed red tobacco on my foot and got a foot infection. You got to love the callback to that an hour later. <laughs> Good job. Oh, they had it at Dillard's. Wait, I'm not reading what you say. Let me click something else because my bottle's not here yet. I bought it from Ferragamo. <coughs> Excuse me. Wasn't expecting that sneeze randomly. Um, I bought mine from Ferragamo, and it's not here yet. It's in the mail. It's I got tracking. It's coming to me. I still have it yet. So I don't want to know what you think. I, don't, I haven't heard any opinions from anybody. I don't want to know what you think. I want to be blind. I've read the notes, but I don't want you to tell me what it smells like, so I'm avoiding your comment. I'm glad you're excited. I'm glad you got it. I hope you enjoy it. I don't want to know what you think. <laughs> I hope you understand. Whoops. Uh-oh, Mr. Got Plenty. I haven't seen you in a while. What the hell? Good to see you. Yes, good stuff. Bless you. Bless you as well. May God bless you. But to get coast for men. If all this fails, he can only afford it 35 bucks. Hey, it's a good fragrance, man. I've always believed in that one. What's going on, Drew? Definitely going to watch from the beginning. Send a day a more cafe. I did. I mentioned it a few minutes ago, the New Garlands, all three of them. That's funny you say it. And don't tell me about a more cafe. I just haven't gotten it yet. Um, ooh, wearing Boundless. Killing the game. Great choice. Great, great choice. But yeah, I definitely, I just mentioned Garland wants some money from me because I want all three. Found Spice Bomb Fresh on Amazon Canada and forces $200. Not sure if it's fake, so I'm not going to try. If you check the chat, you always got plenty. Fair point, sir. Fair point. Cobra. What brand is that? I am not familiar, sir. So we're a little over an hour. We were actually to the bottom of the chat. And that's rare. So we'll be shutting it down here in just a minute. Weather's all nice out here today in PNW. PNW. What is PNW? I may sound like a dumbass right now. I don't know, but I'm not familiar. What is PNW short for? Oh, if I had to pick the new Desir Toxic Intense, it's my new favorite from them. Gin Tonic moved to number two. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's absolutely phenomenal. I, I love it so much. Probably going to wear it again next week. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's that DNA and a lot of mint. Very spring forward. And it's stronger. It's airy and fresh, but still stronger. I love it. I think it's an improvement. 
Two week probation finally over. I can comment on the live. Welcome, sir. Current favorite from day three. So definitely Bunny. My favorite is Bunny. Until further notice, Bunny. Pacific Northwest. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure. Got to go to bed. Another great live. Good night, Roy. Thank you for being here, sir. I hope you have a great evening. And uh, I will see you tomorrow on Justin's channel if you want to come check us out. No live over here tomorrow. Same time, Justin's channel. Oh, it's a Bulgari fragrance. Okay. I've never heard of it. Understand all good. I look forward to your review when you get it. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't want to... I, I've successfully avoided any opinions because it just came out and I bought it right away. So you were the first person that was about to tell me what you think. And I'm like, mm, don't want to know. Click away. Click away. <laughs> Fresh green, linear, pretty decent, nothing but nothing. Wow. And see, for me, it does wow me a bit. I quite enjoy it. And it is very simplistic, very linear, very straightforward. But sometimes simple is the best. Simple is all you need. And, and this, I, I really like it. I think it's my favorite of the three. I just, I love it. It's still metallic. And like I was describing it yesterday in the live stream, I featured it in today's, one of today's videos too. Like the stem of, of a bouquet of flowers, fresh out the water, that's kind of what I, that green woodsy smell I get is like flower stems. I don't have anything else that smells like this. But it's still true to the DNA. I love it. And it is very linear, very simple, very straightforward, and very good. I quite like it. I could see it underwhelming some that are looking for some complexity. Nothing complex about that. I have not. And I'm not going to have any of their RTDs. I'm on a very specific diet. Very, very specific. So I won't be having any of those. If so, which ones do you like the most? Yeah, I just... Just my caffeine fix. That's all. That's all I drink from Ghost. I've had their pre-workout before. Legend. I had a uh, Sonic Ocean Water. I had had it twice. That's really good. But I just I just drink the energy drinks. I'm on a very very specific diet. Oh yeah, for sure, easily. That's why I sent that to Justin. And shh, don't tell Justin. But the pack he's going to be opening for me tomorrow has gin tonic in it. Remember, I did dark pack, fresh pack. Dark pack had red Colorado. Fresh pack's got gin tonic. Shh. Don't tell Justin. Because I know he's not watching right now. He's busy doing other things. He's not watching. So don't tell Justin. He don't know what it smells like anyway. They're numbered. He's not going to know which one it is. But yeah, I want to see what he thinks. Because everybody I've had smell it loves it. Chad wants a took a picture of the bottle. Chad's planning on getting a bottle. Chad loved it. Love, love, loved it. Dedrick was a fan. I'm trying to remember, did I have... Did I have George and, and Omas smell it? I don't think I brought it on that trip. Because I brought it on the trip when I saw Dedrick and Chad. And they both loved it. Especially Chad. Good to know, sir. Good. To, we'll see you there. I can't stand mint. Such a shame. I dislike it almost as much as I hate cumin. Damn. And I like both. Especially mint. Love mint. Especially this time of year. Excellent choice. Appreciate that. Let's see. Need your help. I really want CH Mint Pre Bay, but can't find it. Heard of Essential Elixir, which is supposed to be the same with more projection. Have you heard of it? I've never tried it. As far as things that smell like CH Men Privé that are affordable options out there on the market, I'm not going to be helpful because I don't have anything. I haven't tried anything. I'm sorry, man. I wish I could be of more assistance. Sure did. We, met, we talked about it a few minutes ago. I want all three. I've tried the new version of Habit Rouge. I did like it with Justin. I've been meaning to get Vetiver. I like it. Another one I've tried with Justin. I just keep forgetting to buy the damn thing, but I want better Parfum. Of course I want Loma Ideal Parfum. Oh, God. I don't even care. I don't need to see a note. I'm buying it. The only one I don't have is Platine Privé. I have all the rest. Love them. Love the line. Love it, love it, love it. I'll always buy every flanker. So I'm definitely getting that. And then Habit Rouge Parfum? Why not? I might as well get all three. Make the trifecta. Different, not the same kind of fresh. Super green versus super citrus. Not the same. I don't think one's better than the other. They're very different from one another, but both very fresh. Just different kinds of fresh. 
This winter, I'm huge dense and on my winter niche. I was so busy. Lots of my relatives and friends got married this winter. Oh, damn. So you wore some stunning stuff. The gem line. It's fantastic. Light, smoky incense fragrance. Ooh, I do like my incense fragrances. Interesting, unique, and relatively mass appealing. That line is indeed expensive. Spencer, good to see you. Paris Ocean Leather. Memo Paris Ocean Leather. Listening at work. That is an underappreciated fragrance from them. I like it more than uh, Irish leather and African leather. I think ocean leather is my personal favorite. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, right now, strawberry lemonade. Sour strawberry lemonade. Or pink lemonade, I mean. Sour pink lemonade. And then number two would be the sour watermelon warhead. Number three, sour green apple warhead. Number four is the Raz Pop, I would say. Then the citrus uh, flavor, the green and yellow can. Then you can kind of mix it around with uh, both of the Sour Patch ones. Blue and red, kind of the same for me. Which the blue and red Sour Patch ones were my first two I ever tried. And I just kept going back to them like, oh, these are amazing. Then I started to try the other ones. My favorite energy drinks are the Rise Fuel energy drinks, though. Kool-Aid, Sunny D, Rainbow Sherbert, all of those. The Baja Blast one. It's a different name, but it's Mountain Dew Baja Blast, basically. But the Kool-Aid one's my favorite. That's my favorite energy drink. Tropical Punch Kool-Aid from Rise Fuel. It is carbonated Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. It is fucking amazing. I can drink that every day. I ran out of them. <laughs> I got a few ghosts from Walmart. I need to go back by Vitamin Shop and re-up on, on the Rise Fuel ones. Because in about two and a half months, I'm going to have a two-week stretch where I get caffeine cut out. and I can't have any caffeine. It's going to be rough because I'm going to be heavily depleted and deprived with no caffeine. Oh, the two weeks leading up to the show. My God. It's going to be crazy. I think both are phenomenal. Those are my two favorites until uh, until Desir Toxic and Intense came out. Because I like Desir Toxic. It was my number three. Now it's my number four. Because it's Flanker. This is my favorite. Kind of classic. Watermelon. Fun, simple stuff out the shower before bed. Hoping it's pure and simple. Habib, good to see you. Wanted by Azaro. Oof, cumin. Worst note for me. Can't, certain cumins are a little too much for me. If it's if it's not too heavy, I enjoy it. Oh, I'm, I'm here for it. It's going to be phenomenal. If it's literally just a slight, slight adjustment, higher concentration of the original Eau de Toilette, which doesn't get any love in the base DNAs, like the reason for all those great flankers, it's going to be amazing. No matter what they do with it, I can tell you now, it's going to be amazing. Every time they put one out, it's amazing. I'm here for it. It's kind of like the Spice Bomb line. I don't care. I'm going to get it. I don't care. I trust in it. I trust I'll like it. have no problem blind buying those. Those got me through college. If you like energy drinks, I highly recommend Gorilla Mine. Shout outs to Derek. More plates, more dates. That's his brand. Nootropic energy drinks. Ghost Blue Raspberry is my favorite right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Rain's, Rain's energy drinks aren't too bad. Um, I don't like drinking Monster unless I absolutely don't have another option. Uh, bang. Mm, mm. There was a moment in time when I drank them, but I don't really care for them. I prefer these. There was a moment in time when I, years ago when I was a Red Bull fiend. I'd have a Red Bull every morning on my way to work years ago. Many years ago. I mean, when I was in the oil field, when I was going to the shop. But now it's it's Rise and, and, and Ghost. That's the two. What's going on, DJ? Got a new position at my job. Haven't been able to make it. Santa de Coco Loco. I like the notes for Seraphine Blue. It's going to be a good one. Bloom's coming in a couple of weeks. The incense white floral. So, guys, we're about an hour and 20 minutes, roughly. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. Thank you again, Mike. I don't know if you're still here. For anybody that wants to make a purchase from Day 3 Fragrances for two weeks, the code will be active, TLTG20. He made it in this live stream. It's in the video description. Um, it's not an affiliate code. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get a single kickback. He just put it there to hook you guys up, which is very generous of him. I strongly encourage trying Philosophia. 
a Tacita de Cafe. I really want to check out uh, Downtown Deja Vu. 90s mall fragrance? Come on now. Guys my age, at least get a sample and try it. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to try it. Uh, and Bani. My absolute favorite is Bani. I, that's the ones I recommend sampling. There's a lot of options. Say Less, really, really good if you want a unique iris. Uh, you can get discovery set, sets. You can get bottles. You can do all the different things. And you can save 20%. So definitely check it out. Tomorrow, 4 o'clock Central, live with Justin Copeland, part two of our decant swap. Justin will be opening the fresh pack that I sent him, and I don't know what's in the pack that he sent me, uh, which he doesn't know what I sent him. I just labeled him fresh and dark. He did the dark pack here on my channel, so definitely check us out tomorrow on Justin's channel. Check out some of today's videos if you haven't yet, please. Definitely helps the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. I'm here for your entertainment. Dance, puppet. That's I'm the puppet that dances. I did some dancing. That's basically what my reviews are. I'm dancing for your entertainment, kind of like this live stream. So uh, make sure to like the stream before you get out of here, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.